In today's video, I'm going to give you some more rules on how to use A, N and V. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Karen and on my channel, I help people learn English. Today's video is the second part of my A and V series. Please watch the first video if you haven't watched it yet or if you need to review the basic rules. So I will put a link somewhere up here and also down in the description below to that first video. In this video, I'm going to talk about some more rules on how to use the small words A, N and V in English. Now, as I mentioned in my first video, there are many rules when it comes to using these three words. But in this, in this video and in my first video, I only talk about the more important rules. So just remember that there are many more rules out there about these three words. Okay, A and AN. We use these words when we have one thing, I have a pen and a notebook. We use a and an when we're talking about jobs or groups or types of things or people. For example, she's a doctor, she's a nurse, she's a lawyer. And you can also say she is now a grandmother because her daughter just had a baby girl. We also use a and an when we're describing things. Oh, it's a nice day today. He's wearing a blue suit. I think he's a very friendly guy. Now, the. There are many rules on how to use the. So in this video, I actually talk about this word the most. Now remember in my first video how I said we use the when you and I both know which one we're talking about. Now how do you know which one I'm talking about? Well, there are three ways. One, I mentioned it earlier. And remember, I talked about this in my first video. Two, it's clear from the situation which one I'm talking about. And I also mentioned this in my last video. Can you please pass the salt? Can you please close the door? Or I say which one I'm talking about. Sarah is the woman over there talking to John. Or, I really like the house across the road. I also think that the people who live there are very nice. We also use the when we only have one of something. The sun, the moon, the world, and even the government. And we also use the with words like tallest, shortest, smartest, smallest, because there can only be one. There can only be one person who's the tallest person in the room. There can only be one person who's the smartest in the class. So for the same reason, we also use the before the words first, last, next, same and only because there can only be one person who's first or last, for example. Does that sound like a rooster? <laughs> it really sounds like a rooster in the middle of Hong Kong. Oh, it's a baby crying. <laughs> I thought it was a rooster. We also use the when we mean the famous one. For example, I'd like to meet David Mitchell one day, the author, not the comedian. Well, that's not true because I would actually like to meet both the author and the comedian. So if either of you guys are watching, hi. Another example 
If you say to me, I met Barack Obama, I can say, oh, the Barack Obama, meaning the famous Barack Obama, the former president of the United States. We also use the when we're talking about the world around us, the countryside, the seaside, the rain, the weather. A lot of people like talking about the weather. I really like listening to the rain. It's very relaxing. So related to this, we sometimes use the before certain places around the world. Sometimes. Don't forget sometimes. So we use the with seas or oceans, the Black Sea, the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean. We use the with rivers the Amazon River, the Yangtze, the Nile. We use the with deserts, the Gobi Desert, the Sahara Desert. We use the with mountains, the Himalayas or the Alps. We use the with some island groups, for example, the Philippines, the Canary Islands. And we also use the with some hotels, or theatres, or museums, or art galleries. For example, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, or the Met in New York, or the Sydney Opera House. Now, when don't we use a, an, or the? Generally, they're not used with names of places or people, so proper nouns. So you don't use a, an, or the with John, or Mary, or London, or Melbourne. But remember what I just said in the earlier section, sometimes we do use the with certain places around the world. We also don't use them when we're talking about things in general, when we're talking about most or all things, so nothing specific. For example, cars are very expensive or children are very small. They're also not used with some expressions. For example, parts of your everyday life, like home or school, work, church. They're also not used with parts of the day, noon, night. They're also not used with meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and they're also not used with days of the week or months of the year. But of course, there are times when we will use a, an or the in front of these words. When we do, it's because we're talking about something specific, a specific meal or a specific day. For example, say there is a tennis tournament that goes over two days, Saturday and Sunday over the weekend. I can say, oh, I'm only going to play on the Saturday, not both days. And an even crazier example, <laughs> I got married five years ago. I think it was a Saturday. I hope you have a better idea of when to use these three words now. Like I said, I haven't talked about all the rules in my two videos here, but I hope that I have given you enough to keep you busy for a while. So keep an eye out and listen out for these three words whenever you're reading or watching anything in English, because I know that these words can be very confusing. If you have any questions about them, please let me know and I will do my best to help you. Thank you for watching today's video. Keep practicing, stay safe out there and I shall see you next time. Bye.